Hello, hello, hello to all of my amazing Libras. This is Queen Amon Rock coming to you with a very special reading on today, Libras. Hopefully you're having a great weekend. I know you are because that's the intention you set, Libras. Let's get right into your reading. We're only a couple of days away from the next new moon, so I know you all are starting to plan your um, what your next chapter is going to look like, which is great. So let's get into it. Most High God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my amazing Libras as it relates to every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions and spirituality and where they need to take action. I am talking to my social, gracious, diplomatic, cooperative, fair-minded idealists who are also understanding charming and romantic scales of justice. This. Oh, nice. Okay. All right. I'll show you what I'm looking at in just a second. Nice little tidbit about Libras. Here we have the uh, Judgment card, uh huh, which is attached to Pluto, which is retrograde. We have six planets that are retrograde. In addition to the six planets, we have retrograde. Chiron is also retrograde. <laughs> um, yeah, and the True Node is also retrograde. So it's a lot going on. We also have the Lovers card, which is attached to Gemini. Gemini is ruling planet. Um, Mercury is also retrograde. Um, we have the Nine of Cups. Yep. We also have the King of Cups. Uh-huh. Nice. We have the Six of Cups. And we also have the Nine of Swords. Say, so, listen, here's a fun fact about Libras. And Libras, maybe you can attest to this. You know, you can add your comments if you like. You know, if you agree, disagree, it's all, it's all good. It's all good, Libras. So borrowing money from Libras. So Libras lend money um, when asked, if you all have it, right? But you are not going to sweat over uh, money, you know, like if you have it or you, you see a, there's a need that needs to be met with a friend or somebody that you love or whatever, and you see that they need money, you're not, you're not tripping over. You know how some people, Libras will, you know, loan money or if a person asks you for money, they loan it. And all of a sudden that kind of makes or breaks a friendship or some kind of a relationship. That's not the case necessary with Libras. So Libras, you know, you, you all speak on that, you know, weigh in, let me know. Let's get to your reading. All right. So this is where you have been in the past, right? You've been in a place of, um, you know, sadness or frustration. See how this person, I don't know if you can really, really see, like if I get really close into here. So you, this is a bed post. This is a the bed frame, right? So the person thinks that they're by themselves, but they're really not like, so it's showing inside and outside of the person's house, right? The person feels like they're sad, you know, like, um, you know, like the, like the scripture says, like weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. This is what I'm getting from this right here. Knowing that your ancestors are all around you, protecting you, keeping you safe, spirit guides, the whole nine yards. And so I see a lot of you all have ascended higher, right? Some of you all have ascended higher. You, you, um, have been higher than people that were formerly your, what you thought was like, you know, really balanced your energy out, right? Could have been a twin flame or some or something like that. But I see you ascending higher than that and feeling so much better because of it. So much better because of it, right? What people have to understand is that when you're on a different frequency than people, some people you're going to lose, right? It could feel like a death rebirth, but Pluto is also retrograde right now, encouraging everybody to declutter. So that's part of you want to declutter. And this is how a lot of people are feeling, you know, like they hit the jackpot emotionally, right? To see this person is jumping out of a jackpot. Yes, out of a treasure chest, excuse me. That's how a lot of people are feeling emotionally. Almost like a kid again, like feeling those feelings of nostalgia, like, okay, I'm happy again. I'm at a higher frequency. I feel happy again. But after, but be, before that, you had to sit down somewhere and really, really meditate, activate your crown chakra, which is this God level of clarity. So emotionally, a lot of... Libras are feeling really good right now. Like I said, we have a lot of planets that are retrograde right now. Plus we have the minor planet Chiron that's retrograde right now. That's really, um, really shining a, a, a light on places that need to be healed. So if there's any deep healing that you all feel like that you need, please go do it. Please, please, please go do it. Let's talk about the number 38 for just a second. 38 is very important because 38 reduces to 11. 3 plus 8 is 11. We know 11 is a gateway number. This is where clairvoyance, where you feel like you're clairvoyant. Like um, you have access to, see, because at a higher frequency, you're closer to 
let me say in lay terms, you're closer to God, right? You feel like you're closer to God because you are above all of that other lower vibration stuff. So you can really hear exactly what God is saying to you. So when you think about 11, think about um, uh, this, the master number, it is a gateway number. It is um, trying to call your attention to something, right? Trying to call your attention to something. So looking at this right here, uh, messages are coming through and they're coming through at a higher frequency, right? So when you initially look at this, you look at, okay, well, it's a man and a woman, right? You're divine masculine by default. I'm talking to both men and women who are Libras. You're divine masculine by default. So you all are very action oriented, but this is where you're going to really start focusing on nurturing yourselves, but at a higher frequency. So you can really, really hear from God and that the God in you. And so this right here, means joy comes in the morning in this instance, in this particular reading, right? So that's the number 38. And that's also, you know, speaking to your situation here is that a lot of you all have started focusing on self-love even deeper, right? Not to say that you weren't loving yourselves before, but this is at a deeper level, at a, a deeper, higher spiritual level where you really, really just focusing on hearing from God. And look, I'm looking for new windows of opportunity. Looking, this means looking for new windows of opportunity when it comes to money. So at a higher frequency, there are going to be some people who are going to fall out of range, but guess what? Now it opens up more space, more room to receive other things, other energies, right? And so money is another form of energy, right? Yeah. Legacy wealth. See at a higher, look at all this money in your cars. I'm telling you, you're a lot more selective of who you allow to get close to you because why you've dealt with a lot of hostility in the past. Let me see if I can show you like, like up close. See how this, come on camera, focus. See how this looks like blood here. This could be a, this could be hostility, but if you don't get away from the hostility, it could end up in a very violent situation. Some of you all have come through some very violent situations and for Libras, you all like calm, you like peace, you like balance, right? So getting away from that, now you're a whole lot more selective. You got sword in your hand at rest position. Things are crystal clear to you right now. So it's not cloudy, right? It's not cloudy. Being around a lot of hostility could cause a lot of cloudiness. Like when you can't really hear with your spiritual ears, you can't really see with your spiritual eyes. You know what I'm saying? So this, things are crystal clear there. there. So now you are a lot more selective. There may be some people who may be demoted in your life. There may be some people who were once you, you labeled them as friends, but they may be now become acquaintances or they may not have any place in your life at all. They may have gotten a pink slip. Look, you're fired. And there may also on the flip side of that, there may be some people who have been promoted to friend, right? You just got to be real clear with your definition of what a friend is, but nevertheless, you are a lot more careful about who you allow to get close to you. No more hostility, no more drama, whatever, unapologetically, right? But you had to go through some, some dark nights, right? You had to go through some dark nights to even get there. And look, look at what you're seeing at a higher frequency, right? You cleared away all of that other stuff at a higher frequency. I'm seeing legacy wealth. I'm seeing you being a money magnet. I'm seeing you being a whole lot more conservative with, with your money. I see you traveling all over the world. You know, like I said, being a lot more conservative with your money. And see with that, when I'm saying money magnet, right, that even includes people giving you things like not, not just, not just, uh, you know, you, you being a penny pincher, but I'm saying people with expensive things, wanting to give things to you just because of your spirit Libra. So I need you all to really, really, really stay focused. There's a lot of money in your cars. The majority of the cars that I'm looking at are money cars for you all. So this is nice. The energy of money. Okay. The energy of money, which comes in many different forms. But again, you had to start focusing primarily on yourself and balancing out your own energy first and foremost, right? Recognizing you are your twin flame. I'm telling you, people whose energy is balanced out at a higher frequency, people are drawn to that because they're like, why is that person so happy? They just seem so calm and at, you know, so at peace with themselves. So it attracts everything, brokenness as well as healed energy. But you are able to clearly know the difference between the two. Why? Because you've already been here. You've already been here before. You've already been in this place of sadness and feeling like you're by yourselves. You've also been in this place of hostility, right? You're like as far, you're trying to get as far away from drama as, as humanly possible, right? Let's pull an Oracle card. So he says, I am still, I am silent. I am alive. I am well. I'll put that right there just in case somebody wants to screenshot it. There you go. On the other side of it, it goes, meditation exposes your brain to less active state 
and through repeated exposure, your brain adapts to the stillness and silence. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you are attracting, it's in, oh, that one move. Remember I said that you are the divine masculine, right? So that one move of tapping into, like really being fully aware of your power, Libra, of being able to say, you know what? I'm a Libra, I'm, a soul, I'm, a, I'm an air sign. I have access to a sword because sword energy is for air signs. It's you and your sister signs, Gemini and Aquarius. Once you have act, once you realize how powerful that's, this sword is right here and how you can cut relationships off that just don't serve your highest purpose, boom, and not look back, oh my God, and ascend higher, yeah. There may be some people who feel some kind of way about you cutting them off using that sword. And there may be some people who may feel some kind of way about you not answering their call anymore or even being interested in being connected to them in any way, shape, form, or fashion. And now the other token, there may be some people who are pleasantly surprised that you notice their loyalty to you as a friend and that they've been promoted to friendship status, right? They once were, they went from acquaintance to friendship. So it's a lot of movement that's going on right now. But again, it started with you, Libra, you getting to the heart of the matter with where your healing needed to start. And so it just went up from there. That is what I have for you, Libras. Continue having a fantastic weekend. I know you will because that is the intention you set. Bye.